Hey YouTube, I have some TTMs piling up on me, uh, 13 TTMs to be exact, and also have some failures and purchases to show you, so let's get ready for some graphs and laughs. Um, again, this is just piling up on me, so I'm getting a video out there. Um, first, before we get started, I do want to talk about ShuffleTrades.com. Uh, if you have not got your entries in, well, it's too late for, uh, for May, but you can get your entries in for June. The uh, May trade has been done. I actually got a really nice Kurt Hawkins autograph in my trade. And the next trade, uh, hit trade, is going to be Lou Brock. So if you are interested in the certified auto of Lou Brock, you could possibly get that in the hit trade. Just go to shufflatrades.com to check that out. Real easy. You send an autograph card and get an autograph card back. It's done totally randomly through a tournament program that we use. Um, really cool stuff. Um, okay, let's get to the purchases. This one's insane. I paid an extremely low price for this. This is an Autographs Fan Appreciation Day uh, pamphlet. And it is signed by a buttload of stars in NASCAR back in the 90s. Bobby Allison, good TTM signer. Um, Rusty Wallace. And Terry Labani. I guess I'll go through all these. Daryl Waltrip. I think I missed the first one, actually. Um, if I can get to it. Sorry, guys. Lake Speed. Um, Daryl Waltrip, I think I said that one. Uh, no Ricky Rudd. There's a big one missing out of here. I'm going to skip this one because it's the biggest one in there. But Tim Richmond, that is not signed. So that kind of stinks. Davey Allison. Kyle Petty. Bobby Hillen Jr. Jeff Bodine. Morgan Shepard. Uh, Kale Yarborough, if I can get to it. There we go. Harry Gant, all well, these guys are great signers. Greg Sachs, Phil Parsons, and the big one, boom, Dale Earnhardt. So, really nice to pick this up. Real happy to get it for the extremely low price I got it for. There's also a couple signatures in the back. The guy wrote a note uh, who they were. Um, actually, let me read it. There's ones in the back of Mark Stalls and Rob Marisols. So, um, anyways, let's move on. Pick this up for my Loriano PC. He's doing pretty well this year. The A's are doing really well. Um, so this is a uh, rookie auto, but it is the blue variant numbered out of 50. So I sold that for a pretty good price, and I picked it up because... Those low-numbered rookie autos, I mean, if you find one, you pick it up if it's the right price. So, um, Moving on, these are all for the Archive Project, purchases for the Archive Project. We have Jim Bunning on the Sports Design um, card. This came out in 86, and they basically mocked the 69 Tops design. Um, it's actually him on the Pirates, so this could go into oddball teams. But um, there's another Pirates card of Bunning. I think it was the Sports Legends set or something. Um, I'll get that signed to put in the oddball teams. But just weird to see Jim Bunning on the Pirates. That's going in the archive set. Uh, pick these up. Uh, Monty Irvin, Hall of Famer on the Topps Fan Favorites card. And from the same guy, I got these. Harold Baines. I actually already have these signs. So these will be trade bait for anybody else doing... Uh, the archives project then we have this card which is a project goofball card Billy Wagner as a fireman because he's the uh, I he's up there in the uh, top like three relievers of all time or closers of all time um, him Hoffman obviously Mariano is number one but he should be in the Hall of Fame in my opinion um, Picked up this PSA DNA certified Stan Musial. It's a sticker auto on the fan favorites card. 
And the last but not least, Trevor Story on the Certified Heritage. I think this is 2019. So those are the pickups. Uh, here, let's go ahead and move on to the TTMs. Two failures. Um, got my Derek Jeet back. Second time trying him at spring training. And second failure. So you, you, know, you got to take your shot. Never know what's going to happen. And then I wrote to uh, John Williams, the director of the uh, all the Star Wars music, the Indiana Jones music, um, sent a note back basically saying he wasn't signing anymore, which I kind of expected, but, you know, you got to take your shot. Here are a few that are repeat returns. Atlee Handmaker, 2 of 2. Again, uh, these are going to be trade bait. Uh, Mr. Al Herboski signed three of three and has some great inscriptions. Um, he actually inscribed it to my daughter like I asked, and then he said, Psych up, um, Al Herboski, the Mad Hungarian. So he signed all those that way. Then we have Daryl Evans, who's signing again. Had a little bit of a break there. I think he had a paid signing. Um, signed the 2001 archives card, but that doesn't count for my archive set because it's just a reprint of a portion of his rookie card. And then we have my favorite set, Tops Pristine. Just holds autos awesome. And just, it's a beautiful card. It's got the white background. The autographs pop. All right, next we got two of two from Cecil Cooper. And we have, again, the 2001 archives card that doesn't count. And then we have this 2012 archives card, which does count because it's a redesign. So, uh, next up we have some Project Goofball stuff. Um, these two are going in Project Goofball, just the generic one. Uh, it's uh, Kyle Petty, and he's holding up a heart. Uh, I, I love Harry sign. I, I might get this signed by Harry Gant also. I'm pretty sure that's who it was for. Um, and then this one's a great one. He's got his pants hiked up around his uh, belly button riding a uh, bike. So I had to get that signed for Project Goofball. And then this is going to go in Project Oddball Goofball, and I think I'm going to start a new section of people playing the wrong sport. So if it's a basketball player playing baseball, or in this case, a NASCAR racer playing baseball, Kyle Petty. And then he also signed this Legends card. So real nice return there. All right, now to the new stuff. Um, got two of two from Archie Manning. This vintage card here. And this Domino's Pizza card. I don't know how many of these are signed out there, but it turned out nice. Um, next, we got a private address success. Actually, it's not private address. I'll just tell you. Um, he's a coach at Oregon State University, so that's where I sent it. Um, I think Stark Archive... Stark actually took my address and put it public since it's such an obvious address. But I'm the first one to get a return. Mr. Darwin Barney signed three of three and also wrote a really nice note. So that was a really good return. Next, we have Mr. Keith Van Horn signed one of one. And I got one more card to send to him. Uh, Fleer Tradition, I think, for the archive project. Next up, we got some spring training successes. Got uh, some good ones here. This guy is a pretty good signer all around. Mitch Moreland signed three of three and inscribed into my daughter. Next up, um, I believe this guy is a coach or a scout. I, I think he's a coach. Um, Orlando Hudson signed two of two. So those turned out real nice. Then we have the best spring training return. Three of three from Red Sox legend Jason Veritek. So these turned out awesome. Again, spring training success um, sent to the Red Sox. And uh, yeah, those turned out great. Um, got two really cool ones for the last ones. Um, Annie Potts, she was Janine on Ghostbusters. And she's famous now for the voice of Bo Peep. So that's going to go in the archive project, uh, Donner's Archive and Topps Archive. And the last one is just amazing. I was hoping I didn't miss the boat on this guy. He came through. I did get a, a, kind of a shortened signature, I think. Um, 
but this is Lynn Manuel Miranda sent two Heritage Alexander Hamilton cards. They came out in like 2009, um, and he put the goatee on Alexander Hamilton, and it's awesome. And it's inscribed to my daughter, and so is this one. So those turned out awesome. I'm so happy to get those back. Big fan of Hamilton, and uh, yeah, that made my week. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. All caught up now, and uh, I'm going to try to do these videos more often. Um, again, things have been crazy, but things are starting to calm down. Hopefully, we get back into the flow of things. Uh, we'll see. So hope you enjoyed. Go to ShuffleTrades.com. Get your trades in for June to get the uh, possibly get the Lou Brock hit trade, and uh, you take care, all of you autograph addicts.